My people, my people, good morning. Welcome back to this very channel. Easter Sunday is here. Happy Easter, everyone. I pray that God will be with you and bless your movements, all right? You will grow safely and come back safely if in, in turn you are to travel. God bless you, all right? Please do subscribe to this very channel, like and share our videos because this one is concerning all of us. If you have a medical personnel at home, you know, a young doctor or nurse that wants to travel abroad, Fulani has, uh, they want to enslave them, they want to cripple them, they say they must serve the zoo five years before traveling abroad. And I ask, did the zoo pay school fees for them? What is the contribution of the zoo to the doctors that they are giving them mandate? That is Islamization and Fulanization agenda we are talking about. They don't have right. They are encroaching in private lives and that is not supposed to be. Anybody decides where to stay and where not to stay. You don't, you're not paying travel ticket for them. You're not doing anything. You did not give them uh, free education to study or even serene environment to study. They just did this thing by hook and by crook. And now you want to give them order. How many years to serve in punishment? Because serving in Nigeria is serving punishment. All right. Now this is uh, Oseni giving you daily updates from top secret uh, release from the government. Yes, that this is part of what Oseni said and i have to release his voice you have to follow it to the end and get some more information that you know should matter to you thank you i've got three stories i'm going to be taking number one will be you know Olusha Gobasha just speaking yesterday and he it says it's too old to get quiet in the face of um, adversity for Nigeria and ethnic bigotry and all of that. And I think it is right, you know, for our leaders to be able to come out and objectively speak in the face of ethnic bigotry, in the face of adversity, in the face of what is happening in our country as a whole and how our country is being dragged down. And it was a good thing that Lisha Gumbasa did come out to speak. Um, what, is it? what is it called? Uh, this... Uh, there's, there's also a story making the rounds about, you know, President Boy pretty much finalizing things, say, the saying that the elections have changed the status quo in Nigeria. And I uh, said every nice thing about the uh, election while he was I said doctors will have to stay five years first, you know, before they can practice five years in Nigeria, before they can leave. Uh, because of the fact that there's been brain drain. Uh, when I look at it, honestly, I think that bill is a stretch. What are the procedures? What are the things you're putting in place for doctors? It's not that Nigeria doctors like to go serve abroad. The question has always been, do you pay them well? Do you equip them properly? Do you give them the enablements that make them do a good job back in Nigeria? All of this, no. So it's not just bypassing bill. You are not developing the healthcare sector. You are not doing anything to be able to upgrade the lives of doctors. And your passing bill that they should stay five years in the country. So, I mean, what question? The question we should ask is how, how is this going to spur growth and development? People have their individual lives to live. If you want them to stay five years in the country, how are you incentivizing them? So, are you saying that okay, if they stay five years in the country, you do X, Y, Z for them? I think those are the questions the national assembly should ask. But I mean, I've not read the full bill myself. Maybe they might have all those answers there. But. Uh, We'll see how things pan out, you know, as regards that. Uh, a lot is still happening around the country. And I want to say big kudos and congratulations to a couple of people and a very special friend of mine, uh, Mr. Frank Obad, has just been made an AIG. He just served as a police, commission, uh, a police commissioner in Ogun State. I did a sterling job during the last elections. But now finally he's been made an AIG and um, congrats to him. Known him for over 10 years and I've seen him as he goes to go through the ranks, you know, and all of that. So let's say it pans out. And also, there's been a back and forth as regards, you know, the political party, the Labour Party, uh, that uh, now what is happening is that some people have gotten the court injunction to say that a bureau cannot continue to serve as chairman. A lot is happening as regards uh, that in the political party. You know, the political dynamics is up and running in Nigeria. And that's uh, how that is panning out. So there are many other stories making the rounds. Uh, concerning Donald Trump, 
uh, concerning Donald Trump. As Tommy Daniels granted the word exclusive yesterday with Pierce Morgan, I tried to catch bits of it. But just to summarize what she was trying to say is that there's been a lot between her and Donald Trump. He has sued that Ted Cantor sued each other, and that she'll be ready to testify. You know, if 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 they call her up to testify against Donald Trump and all of that. The case has been on since about 26, 2006, and they were said to have an affair. She talked about the affair. Uh, she said they were supposed to meet up for dinner, but they ended up in, she ended up in Donald Trump's room, and she and he made sexual advice that her that it was so sort of like consensual. And you know, the interview is out there, so you can just um, go and look at it yourself. And um, that's that about uh, the case. As regards international dynamics, so for those of their birthdays today, happy birthday, my birthday is tomorrow. Uh, as regards the international dynamic, there's a lot happening now. Uh, there's a new world order that is emerging. So let me explain this way to you. China, Russia, and Indian bloc, they're trying to form their own new world order. And it is evident, China constantly keeps you know, harassing um, Taiwan. Only yesterday, since uh, since when, the president of Taiwan was in America. And this is the first time a Taiwanese official is going to meet the highest ranking U.S. official, which is the Speaker of the House in America, on American soil. But China keeps flying their planes across the Taiwan and keeps showing them that, hey, we can attack you anytime we want. As all well as this is happening, there's been alignment, you know, by the likes of India with Russia and the likes. And you can see what they did to America recently. And um, after uh, America went to meet Saudi Arabia concerning oil prices, and Saudi Arabia gave America a cold shoulder, and other nations too are turning to Russia to be able to buy probably cheap oil. I think Japan is not even buying oil at 60 uh, $60 per barrel from uh, from Russia. So there's an international world order. As all of this is panning out, I think um, President Macron in France uh, has positioned himself as a puppet to most of the other top world leaders. He was in China yesterday. He you know, tried to broke up. A lot of people say he has crisis and riots going on in France, but he's going to be junketing everywhere to China to broke up his with Ukraine. I think President Macron limits the power of France so much that he's like become the international beggar. That was how he went begging Putin before the war, but Putin still went there to invade Ukraine. Putin told him to sit 10 feet away. So there's a lot going on as regards international and international dynamics are played out. But I just hope I've served you well in this edition of The Trust today. Bless you guys. Thank you so much. I'll also do another live in the morning tomorrow. Uh, my birthday, where I get a chance to see if you've got requests and if people here, you've got surgeries and everything that you want to do. I just see people here should meet the need. I'll do that one for about 10, 15 minutes just to help and pray with a lot of people out there, you know, because that's something I'm passionate about. And you can just post your request. And if anybody's interested, they can connect you on this thread. Bless you all. I really appreciate you all. You see what I'm saying? In case you followed us to this very end, you have had Oseni giving us updates, uh -huh. morning updates. Very interesting one at that. All right. So, my people, please share and uh, let the doctors know what to do right now because they have to protest about this. It's their right that they are trying to, um, you know, trample upon. So, my dear people, thank you very much for your time once more. God bless you.